Hi, I'm Iana. I'm a world champion boxer making a name for myself in a man's sport. I've got what it takes to be a star in the international level. I'm carrying on a family legacy. Fighting's in my blood and I'm here to make my people proud. They've given so much to help me achieve my goals. I'm vegan. I make healthy eating choices by keeping my mind sharp and my body fight ready. I'm Iana Roxani Verdusco. They call me Right Hook Roxy, and, and I, I know what it means to be all yourself. yourself. Don't forget to pick up your armadillo spirit wear today because tonight is the first game against Millwood. Narrated by yours truly. Go Dillos! And now for a quick plug. High school is rough. We all know that. If you're struggling with anxiety, insecurity, or just have something on your mind, the Attaway Appeal's latest and greatest venture, Hey Harmony, is here to help. Go on their website and write an anonymous submission and you'll get the advice and support you need. Looks like she's made herself at home. Yeah, in more ways than one. What do you mean? She's just completely taken over my room. Her stuff is everywhere. And she's all buddy-buddy with you and Quinn and honey. It's, it's weird. Are you sure that's the only thing that's bothering you? Is there something else? really quiet today. Is everything okay? Yeah, you know, it's just first game back. A little nervous. Ty! Man, ready to kill Millwood, baby? Oh, whatever, bro. How's that knee? It's had plenty of time to recover, right? Yeah. Go on Medillos, right? Medillos, baby. Well, I'm gonna get going. I'm just checking in with you. You good? Good, man. Hey, let's kill it today, all right? Let's do that. All right, let's get the dub. Take it easy. All right, Luna. You see? Everyone's counting on me. Because you're the best player on the team. Yeah, before the injury. You're gonna do great, and if you're not ready, Everyone will understand. I promise. So we all know by now the characters of the Great Gatsby meet a tragic end. Or we should know. So why do you think the relationship between Daisy and Gatsby, after everything he did to try to get her, ultimately fails? It was fate, like Romeo and Juliet. Mm, not exactly. I just think they weren't a good match. A friend of mine pointed out that Gatsby was deep and Daisy was pretty superficial. Daisy was completely different from the Daisy he remembered from five years ago. I totally agree. Okay, so I guess that tortured and possessive counts as deep now? I mean, Daisy may have been superficial, but it's not her fault that Gatsby went and blew up her life because he was in love with some sort of illusion of her. Go on. I mean, Gatsby wasn't even trying to get to know her. He just was in love with the idea of her and just decided that he had to have her, so he went and blew up both their lives and two people ended up dying. I mean, it's kind of trash, so. That's good, Ryan. Ryan. Hey, Ryan. Hey. Sorry if I said anything in there that kind of offended you. You seemed pretty heated. <laughs> no, not at all. I get a little carried away when we talk about those kind of things. Honestly, you made a pretty convincing argument. Thanks. Oh, hey, Ty. What's up? You okay? Just a migraine on top of not sleeping well. Don't you have a game today? Yeah, 
It was just feeling a little sore. I wanted to cover all my bases. Are you going to be able to play? I hope. Got a lot of people counting on me. That's so much pressure. It's hard having to put on a brave face all the time, pretending that you're OK for other people. Yeah, it is. I just think that if the right to privacy was so important to the founding fathers, that they would have included it in the Constitution. Ever heard of amendments? The Constitution was literally written to be interpreted and adjusted. Without the First Amendment, you wouldn't have the right to speak your opinion right now without being prosecuted, and I wouldn't have the right to vote. Hey, Ellie, uh, will you hang on a moment? I just want to tell you, I think you're doing a wonderful job in my class. Oh, thank you. I was wondering, would you be interested in joining the Debate Society? You've got such a natural talent for it. I'll think about it. Great, drop by. Our first debate is in a few weeks, so let me know soon. Hey, team. I just want to say a few words before we go out there and crush Millwood. Let's go, yeah. baby! Just want to say, Ty, I'm so happy that you're back and that your knee's fully recovered. You're a huge asset to us, man. We can't do this without you. Speech, 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 speech! Thanks, Isaac. I'm glad to be back. I just, uh, I hope I don't let you guys down. Hey, man, how could you? You're a legend, bro. You're gonna be fine out there. Thanks, man. Uh, it's an honor to be a part of this team. All right, so let's go out there today and let's crush those Millwood muskrats with all we got. Let's do it, my baby! What do you think of Isaac Jones? Cute. <laughs> and honestly, hair goals. I think my very handsome yet sensitive boyfriend would not appreciate this game. The only handsome guy I know is in New York. You guys are no fun. What's the point of going to a sporting event if you can't talk about how cute the players are, right? <laughs> Speaking of Robbie, I wonder where he is. Shoot, you guys, we forgot to save a seat for Rhyme. Well, if she doesn't get here soon, she's gonna miss the game. Robbie. Oh, Johnny. Good to see you. Hello. Are you still living with my cousin? Yeah, yeah. Is he here? River's not here, but, uh, you know, you should come hang out sometime, man. It, it is the ultimate bachelor pad. Yeah, maybe I will. Yeah. All right, well, I'll, I'll see you after the game. Oh, you mean after Millwood crushes Attaway? Uh, that game? Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> Are you willing to put your money where your mouth is and get in on some action I got going on? thought you guys weren't doing that anymore. There's nothing wrong with a little wager between friends. Right, we're friends. You want to make a little money? Mm. <sighs> Fine. 20 bucks. Robbie. I was thinking more like 200. 200? That's a lot of money. You got to risk it big to make it big. You want to risk it? Okay. Okay. I'll see you after. See ya. Yeah. It's third down, and Ty Walker is lined up on the outside. It's his first game back, and the Armadillos could really use the speed on this next play. Here we go. Come on, y'all got this. You sure you're not coming back too soon, Walker? Set. Hey. Jones takes the snap, quick drop, turns and throws the flash to Walker. And Walker is flattened. Welcome back, baby. Looks like Walker just did not have the speed there to get away. Oh, 
last year, that would have been a touchdown. And the armadillos are forced to punt. Get that one. Let's see. Oh, oh, how about this one? Hey, I I'm sorry about earlier. We totally meant to save you a C. It's not a big deal. What's up? You seem upset. It's stupid. Come on. It's clearly not. Otherwise, you won't be upset. Well, maybe I was very stupidly jealous of you and Wes. It just kind of feels like you've gotten so close with everybody in my life. Hey, look, Wes and I are not a thing, so no need to be jealous. And I'm sorry about not keeping your room as clean as I should. I'm working on it. And with your friends, well, I've just never had the kind of friends you do, Ryan. I'm not trying to steal anyone from you. Yeah, I know. Like I said, it's, it's so stupid. It's not stupid at all. Cards? Yeah. Who's winning? Probably Harmony. <laughs> <laughs> Knew it. Yeah. Next time on Chicken Girls. Quinn! It's time. Time for what? To get over Hamilton. Do you want to hang up sometime, like, in a non-score-related way? 